It, it actually took about a year, two years of regular visits before she would start interacting with us. She, now she hears our voices and she comes right out because she knows we'll do something interesting. Hey, this is Lauren from Carolina Tiger Rescue. So there are a couple different ways to get involved here at Carolina Tiger, and adoption is one of those programs. Uh, with adoption, people can come out and adopt one of our animals. Now it's symbolic adoption, you don't actually get to take home any of the animals with you. This provides a safe way for people to get to know our animals and their personalities. So with adoption, you come out and you take various trainings that we offer, and then you get to go out and visit with your animals. And so this is a fun way to get to know individual animals and their personalities. But like I said before, it's a safe way to keep everybody safe and then that way uh, none of the animals were harmed and no animals were purchased as pets. So we're going to meet a couple of our adopted parents and get to know their stories. I wanted to adopt Lola the very first time I saw her. Uh, she had just been rescued here and I wanted to see a cute little kinkajou and I peeked into her enclosure and she came flying out of her den box and she threw herself at the fans, hissing and spitting and generally cussing me out. And, and she was really scary, but it was also heartbreaking because I realized she was absolutely terrified of being in a cage. She seemed just baffled that she was locked up and she was just very angry and scared. And we decided that we would do whatever we could to just help her feel something besides fear. I saw Carnivore Preservation Trust, which piqued my interest. I was, again, I was thinking wolves, local things, and then I saw tigers, lions, big cats. I said, oh, I have to go investigate this place. But it still took me a few years to actually come down here. So in July of 2013, I signed up, took a twilight tour, and was really impressed with it. And that's where I met these guys, my my buddies. We began with the Tiger Tales program and um, fell in love with this place and just wanted to get more involved. You know, we were uh, animal care volunteers and and as so so we did, had a lot of interaction with all the different animals here and that was very enriching. And then when we moved away from actually getting into the uh, enclosures and cleaning and whatnot, uh, we felt that we weren't having as much interaction with the animals, so the the opportunity to uh, adopt an animal uh, really kept us involved with uh, Carolina Tiger Rescue and the animals, so that was the impetus uh, right there. We had learned about the Adoptive Parent Program, knew it was something we wanted to do, and we all had lists of animals that we liked. Um, and found out that Shenandoah was the only tiger with no family. So we couldn't have that. So we adopted Shenandoah and she has come to be all of our favorites. We love her. I feed them and I, I get with the keepers. They, they, I'd let me know how much they're allowed to have. And Sheba's allowed four and a half pounds a day. And Sebastian, it can alternate, I believe, between six and nine, but I always come with the nine. And, uh, I check in every day with the keeper and they, they, we go over anything that needs to be gone over about them. And then I come down here, check in, come down here and uh, feed them. Well, I think that just seeing their personalities and being able to spend time here at the sanctuary with them, um, Raj is super laid back like Matt, um, Petey's just cute and fun like Cooper, mm -hmm. and Shannon Doa just likes to chill and be left alone like me. So <laughs> I think we all bond with the personalities. Well, I, you know, we're in North Carolina. They're indigenous to Africa. So, and uh, this is, I guess, the closest you'll ever get or the closest you'll ever interact with a, a big lion like this. And uh, I just, I, it's to me, it's a golden opportunity, you know, and, and that might even be a, a little bit of selfishness on my part, too, because where else can you go hang out with a guy like this, you know, even though our conversations aren't very <laughs> stimulating, to say the least. But uh, come on, look at him. How can you not love that guy? We had created her a little set of doors that she had to open to get a treat inside. And they opened to the outside of the enclosure. So we could put treats in. She would open the door and get a treat. And she began to do pretty well with that. But then there was one day we walked up and 
we we just said hi Lola and she came out of her den box and she went right over to the doors and she opened one up and sat there and waited for her grape and we knew that she was she recognized us she knew what we were gonna do and she was unafraid uh, a lot of the cats here are really funny and they're really lazy <laughs> <laughs> And they fight a lot. <laughs> Sometimes. And some of them are old that, and like really slow and cute. And some of them hide a lot and scare my mom. She holds my hand so hard. <laughs> I'm like, Mom! <laughs> it's quite different, the interaction with a pet. You know, you want to cuddle the, uh, the little kinkajou. <laughs> that would be one thing, but we don't feel that way. We don't want to cuddle her. We, you know, no, we want scary. to give her enrichment that will stimulate her natural behavior. One of the biggest things that I've learned is, you know, the, you know, pet, pay to pet. You know, I would, before ever coming here, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't hesitate to do that, to, you know, be able to pet a tiger. That's, I mean, that would be great, but then you learn exactly what's going on behind the scenes and it's just you know, unbelievably tragedy what they have to go through. I just I enjoy coming here, I enjoy doing this. And I look forward to doing it well into the future. Um, it's definitely something that we do together and I think it's one of those things that when the world feels heavy, this is a place we can come, be with Shenandoah and the animals and kind of puts it all in perspective. It doesn't have to be um, even one of the tigers or a lion or something big. Any animal, even the most shy animal, will eventually respond to you and getting to know that animal, spending a lot of time with them is is going to be rewarding no matter which one it is. So so pick one that, that speaks to you personally. It doesn't cost that much to do. It, you know, a couple of movies a month um, and it's paid for. I adopted Sebastian first. He was, he's, my, he's my first lion. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, we're going to stick it out to the bitter end. <laughs>